All right, so I'm going to try and uh, do a, a quick version of the ham clock and some of the stuff that you can do with the ham clock and some of the settings. So, uh, first off, this corner of the map right here, you would click right here, and you can pull a menu there. But if you move your mouse around on here, it shows you the conditions in the corner here of where your mouse is. So just so you know. Okay, so we... We click right here in this corner, and we can change the um, style, the grid, the projection, and then down here it says RSS. That gives you this news banner down here. I don't know what Knights and City does, but um, basically the projection will change the shape of the map. Okay? And there's a couple of different ones that you can use. So it just depends on your preference. We click again and go in and change, uh, you know, to maybe ASIM1, maybe like that. Okay, so now up at the top here, I don't really understand this one too much, but usually if you click in the left uppermost corner, it will give you the options for the different things that that window can do. This one's all about weather. Um, here, same thing, click up at the top. It gives you the options of what you can do. Now, if you want something in another window, you need to turn it off over here first. Okay? So, we have the VOA cap, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it puts this really pretty color on here, and it's set for a specific band. Um, with the VOA cap, it's kind of like propagation tool. Let me come back in here and change back to Mercator so we get a flat deal here where it's easier to interpret what's going on okay these are the reliability of the uh, conditions for 10 meters and we click over here it's 12 it changes and you go 15 or nothing and you get a normal map so if you double click it it will remove it okay you don't have to have it on. Okay. So, let's say we want to look at 80. 80 probably won't look like much because we see there's nothing on the grid here. It just kind of blacks it out. Gray. Okay, let's try 40. Now, there's something here that they say, like, 100 watts, CW, TOA, 3, SP. I don't know what any of that means. Um, now on most of these, if you click in the right lower corner, that changed something actually, you'll usually get, oh, look at that. So they have a thing, so I clicked in the left lower corner and I got this. We're just going to leave that right there. Um, but let's say you wanted this somewhere else. You could put it in one of those three up here. We had to turn it off over here. So let's say we want to put the moon over here. We uncheck this, click OK. The moon shows up. We're over here at this one. We click up in the corner here. We can now go VOA cap over here. We need to uncheck everything else. Because what happens is these things sit here for about 45 seconds apiece before they start switching around. So we moved it over to there. And you can do it like that. Um, now, the live spots over here is what shows these lines on the map. Let's right click here. The different choices of the different things are all highlighted when you click in the left corner. Okay? When you click in the bottom corner, or on the bottom, I think it doesn't really matter where, it gives you the option. So right now we're on, uh, I believe, what would be PSK Reporter. Right next to it is RBN, which is Reverse Beacon Network. Uh, on the other side is Whisper. And the spot is either of the DE or by the DE. I don't know how it would be by uh, the DE or how that would work. 
we could go ahead and try it and switch it if we want. Um, grid, uh, show the maximum distance or count, and it times out after a while. Uh, the age, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 6 hours, 24 hours. And you can select the bands that actually show up. I'm going to uh, go over here and change this to buy the DE, and I think it'll end up blanking out the whole thing. Oh, maybe not. So, I'm not sure how that would work. Uh, but it's going off of buy my grid uh, PSK in the last 15 minutes. So, let me see what it does when I switch it back. Okay. Of... So they, uh, uh, are these people that have spotted somebody in my location? So this is more likely, um, these places are picking up signals from my area. Live spots of... Grid DM34. Okay. Now, that's of. Now, how about by? By. Now, this is what people in my area have spotted. Not what areas have spotted of my area. So, the this is more accurate for me, I think, probably because this is going to show me where I'm located, what to expect to pick up, what ex to expect to receive. Um, the other way is a little bit more specific. So this is fine. So you can do that. You can move all this stuff around here. If you come over here, normally this has DE and DX. Uh, you can click in the corner and you have the DE format and I click all info um, and data panes, contests, POTA and SODA and then with that there you can then have all that now um, I believe if I just click the DE format what's going to happen is we're going to end up losing all this information here and we'll end up with this clock like you normally would see it when you when you um, first set up ham clock. To me, this is useless. I really don't need to see my grid. I know where I'm at. Um, I don't know exactly what the point of this is. If you click on the top here, you can change it back. Okay. If you click on the top over here, it will allow you to select satellites or the moon, or ISS. Let me see if we can find ISS. Why are they not on here? Uh, satellites or none. Uh, so usually, there would be everything in here, I thought, but... So here are some satellites. None of these I really know. Uh, AO27. Okay, AO27. Uh, that's uh, an amateur radio carrying satellite. So we come in here. It shows it'll rise in 5 hours and 49 minutes. And it'll calculate it on the map. Um... Not exactly what you would want to use for satellite tracking, but, like, still pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure what this is right here, where it, it's giving me the population. Interesting. I didn't know it could do this. Why is it not, uh... So in certain places, you can scroll on the map. Let's go over here. Russia. Uh, a certain specific location. 
cool. Okay, anyway. So, you can do that with that. Um, you can change the satellite. You can change the rise and set. You can turn off the satellite. You can show the DX information. Uh, if we click in the bottom. Same thing. Okay, so let's go back over here. Um, I don't want the DE format. So we're going to uncheck that. We're going to... What we're doing is... Instead of DE format, we're doing data panes. Okay? We need to recheck the contest and the POTA and the SODA. And up here it says all info. Uh, analog calendar. Uh, digital 12 hour format. Okay. So then that will put that back over there. Um... We have to wait for the contest window to change for it to go back to any other useful information. Um, there might be some other stuff you can do with the clock, but this is like the very basic stuff of like what you can do with this. Um, there is also some weird thing here. You can click on this for like the moon. It shows like some movie. Supposedly. You're also asking a lot of a Raspberry Pi 2W0 to... Uh, run ham clock and do all this stuff this is a quad core if you use a pi zero you might have some trouble with it compared to what i'm doing um apparently uh this opens chromium and uh using a web browser with a pi zero is extremely intensive on the thing um this is most likely going to make everything crash. Our best bet is to try and get this thing to close. Okay. Now, I don't want the moon over here. So this is actually still showing us our satellite stuff for some reason. So you, I guess you can enable that and then go back in the screen over here and change to something else. Okay, I don't want the moon over here. Um, what I like to do is I like to have the x-ray up. Just to kind of tell if some funky crap is going down with the weather. So that's kind of how I run my ham clock and hopefully that will give you, you know, some information. I think if you click on the news down here, it'll take you to a website. So I don't recommend doing that on a Pi Zero. But if you're just going to let this thing run on the wall and uh, do your thing, I think this is a great, great way to do it. Um, my Pi is sitting right here. This is a Pi Zero 2W with a case. Um, you're going to need an HDMI adapter. I bought this case for like $7.99, and it came with a heatsink, header pin, case, uh, adapter, um, a switch so you can like just turn it off without unplugging it, and this USB uh, micro to A so you can, in my case, hook a mouse to it. These are these are Bluetooth. I do have a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, if you get a Bluetooth mouse, then you can have that USB port available for something else. But these are not computing monsters, so basically it's a good little uh, unit to run something like, you know, that isn't really intense. And this clock just basically sits here and runs, so I think it's pretty cool and a cheap way to have something much better than a Geochron. So thanks for watching, guys.